Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be printing this. So, you might recall this uh, basic shape from a prior video. What we did is uh, created a bracket for a camera mount on the front of the Wanho. And uh, it was a little bit thick. I, came at, I, I brought it in at about 3 millimeters. And I had to narrow it down to about 1.5 uh, <laughs> so the bed would slide over it. Don't know if that'll work. Um, but anyways, let's uh, do a quick time lapse of this. And then um, we'll come back. We'll take a look at how this works and we'll see how it goes. So, time lapse. Now for a time lapse video. Ready, set, let's go. Magic of video editing. We're back, and uh, let's see about peeling this piece off. Now, one of the things with this piece that I did do is is, is it's thinner here, so I went to 1.5 millimeters versus three, and uh, I went to uh, 0.1 layer height versus 0.2 because I wanted more layers to make it. Um, uh, stronger and then I also added these uh, supports along the side here uh, to keep it from from torquing I could have got a little fancy I didn't put a radius on on this end here uh, however I think that's okay I got a little bit lazy all in all it, it looks like it came out pretty good I use the same support mechanisms here so uh, uh, actually I'm using the old <coughs> support to film this so let's see what happens when we put the new support on. And uh, it's still hitting. So let's see if we can't. Uh, wow. I'm not sure I can go any thinner on that than, than what I have already. Um, wow. Because I measured it, I thought I'd have clearance at about... Let me clean out the bottom of this. There might be some material in the bottom of this. I'm not sure if you can see that and come back. Well, we're back, and we cleaned out in between there. There was some plastic in there. However, it's still too high for this to clear the... I think if I get it down there, you can kind of see it hitting that hitting that bed um, hmm interesting I could probably put some washers underneath the bed to lift it up but I kinda wanted to keep that piece as stock as possible and you can see here I think how thin I've got that so I'm at 1.5 millimeters so 
I'd have to go down to about one millimeter on that. So one of the things I did, also probably worth note from a structural design, is I put these tabs on it to, uh, because obviously this is very thin, and so I wanted to create more surface area. And I think probably what I would also do, since I thinned this out, is extend this back piece a little bit. I didn't want to do too much, so you can kind of see, I want to get there so I could bump up right to that, that mounting bracket and then be able to slide like this. Um, hmm. I may give it another shot with, with taking it down a little bit more and see how it goes, but uh, for the most part, most of the stuff doesn't come past pretty much this, but I, I you know, for the, the things that I do, I wanted to have this. So, anyways, um, maybe third time will be the charm. So, anyways, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and uh, kind of shared some uh, bit of design tips and concepts. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. Even if you didn't, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll go take some uh, look at a future version of this. Also, one of the things that I did want to share just kind of in closing this video is uh, we have quite a bit. Uh, While well, I was gone this week, the filament Santa showed up, so we've got um, we've got some glow in the dark finally in. We've got the um, hips in. We've got some Saint Smart wood filament, and we have some more industrial strength nylon material. So. Um, Anyways, we'll be experimenting with uh, this stuff as we go along doing the test cubes because, again, as you saw in some of the prior videos, I've been doing those test cubes and uh, taking a look at the results. So uh, I've got four new filaments to add to the list, so we'll be printing with those very shortly. Watch for some upcoming videos. Cheers. See you in the next one. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.